Hi, this is Dr. Benfinio here with Lego Guy and Elmo to answer a very specific question I have gotten in a couple comments on my other Zoom tutorials. Can I spotlight other people while sharing my own screen? In this video, I'll show you how. So if you don't know how to share your screen in Zoom, I have an entire video dedicated to that. You can find it in the playlist linked in the description below this one. But very quickly, I'm going to hit the share screen button and select a PowerPoint presentation that I have prepared going to share that. I am now sharing this PowerPoint presentation. Other people will see this. And assuming you are on a single monitor, dual monitors is kind of a separate thing. And again, I have a video about that. You should still see this little floating window with thumbnails in it where you can right click to spotlight other participants, even though you're the one sharing your screen. So for example, I am going to spotlight both Lego guy and Elmo here and that's going to move them to the top of this list and spotlight them for everyone else in the meeting. Now, that could be a problem if you're in a large meeting because this little floating thumbnail window, I think only displays up to four people maximum. So if you have 30 people in the meeting and you wanna spotlight somebody who is buried down in that list, you might not see them here. To do that, you wanna spotlight them before you start sharing your screen. So let's back out of this. I'm going to stop sharing, go up here to view and remove all spotlights. I can spotlight them before I start sharing my screen, again, by right-clicking and selecting Spotlight for Everyone. Zoom, in a update last year, added a multi-spotlight feature, so again, you can spotlight two people at once. Now they are spotlighted. I can go to share my screen, share the PowerPoint, and I will still see them spotlighted at the top of the little thumbnail. If I want to remove that spotlight from either one of them, I right-click and select Remove Spotlight. Now let's take a quick look at what this would look like for everyone else in the meeting. So now Elmo is sharing his screen. He has spotlighted me and Lego guy. So as a participant viewing El Elmo's screen, you'll see I'm in side by side mode here. I see myself and Lego guy. If I also wanted to see Elmo, I would go up here to view and switch to side by side gallery view instead of speaker view. Then I can still see everyone in addition to the two people Elmo has spotlighted. If you don't understand side-by-side -side view or the difference between this and the other Zoom view controls, I have another video, again, in the playlist in the description below this one, that goes over things like side-by-side -side and speaker versus gallery and full screen view and all that stuff. So there you have it. Again, this might seem oddly specific, but if for whatever reason you need to share your own screen while spotlighting other people, yes, you can do it in Zoom. If you are a new viewer, again, I have a giant playlist of many other highly detailed Zoom tutorials that you can find linked in the description below this video and somewhere here on the end screen. Many of my videos are based on comments and questions I get in the comments on my existing tutorials. So if you do have a question or a request for another tutorial, I cannot promise I will get to everything, but please go ahead and leave a comment below this video. Thank you.